have a new little obsession. Plants, 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 and more plants. We have been making paper plants in our YouTube Live videos. Then we did an in-depth tutorial on how to make these snake plants in our sorority house video. Today we're going to show you how we made the Monstera. Monstera, Monstera. I think it's Monstera. And a few more paper plants. For our Monstera plant, we're using green cardstock. I bought this assorted pack at Michael's. I'm using the darkest green out of this pack. We also need acrylic paint, clear nail polish, empty glue stick caps, toothpicks, strips of white paper, binder clips, tissue, dark brown felt, a paintbrush with a nice tip, a glue stick, and hot glue. Let's start by making the pot. This is the same pot that we use for most of our plants because I have a lot of glue sticks and this is a fun way to recycle the caps. Cut a long strip of white paper. This one is an inch and a quarter wide. Wrap it around the glue stick cap. Try to keep the paper pretty tight to reduce a lot of wrinkles or like movement up here. Use a glue stick to put glue on the end, then continue rolling. Hold it for a few seconds to make sure it is glued down and you have a nice little paper tube. Push the cap all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna put a little hot glue around the inside edge to make sure the cap is glued to the paper. Allow it to dry. Take some tissue and push it inside. I'm using the end of a chopstick to pack it down. Take dark brown felt and cut it into strips, then cut the strips into tiny squares to make soil for our pot. Cover the tissue with hot glue, making sure you get it on to the sides. Add the felt on top. Be very careful not to get burned. I always use a little bit more felt than I need just to give myself a little bit of a buffer. Before the glue completely dries, I take my chopstick and I push it down into the center to try to make just a little cavity. There should be enough felt to stop my chopstick from getting covered in glue. And yeah, we look good. And that is our very simple, basic pot. Now you can change the height of the paper to make the pot taller or shorter. And you can use different caps if you like a larger or a smaller pot. Now for the leaves. I cut about a three inch strip off of my cardstock, fold the end over. That's about three quarters of an inch. Trim off the excess. We can use a pencil to draw our cutout line or you can just freehand it with the scissors. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna sketch it out. So first, we're gonna just cut a long line going right down the fold. Then I'm gonna turn this over and draw a heart shape and just tapers off at the end. Cut it out. You want to make sure you have a really sharp peak at the tip. Unfold it and you can see the shape of our leaf. Mix acrylic paint and water to thin out the paint. Get a little paint on the end of your paintbrush. Paint a straight line down the center of the leaf as thin as you can make it. Since the paint is watered down, it's very faint. You can barely see it. But that's okay because the color will pop out when we add the nail polish. Right now, let's just continue adding the details to our leaf. I'm gonna add some little veins out to the sides. Trying to be thin here. It can do a much neater job when the camera is not in front of me. So let me get you a really good example. There we go, much thinner lines. The lines can be staggered just a little, and at the end, they do go up. Make six. Let's add a little more variation to these leaves. So I fold them in half, then wobbly go around the edges and just make them a little less perfect. Better. Using my scissors, I now cut into the leaves. I don't fold this in half. I want to do each side separately so that we have some really good variation. So I take a little notch out of the bottom first, then I go up between the veins, 
And I'm gonna cut a little like rectangle-ish shape. But I don't go all the way to the center. You can, I'm just not. I tried to make the end a little round. Continue cutting the notches out of the leaves. After finishing one side, go to the other. And it's starting to look like the Monstera leaf. But I wanna add a few holes. I've got two hole punches here. They are different sizes. This one is really tiny. This one is slightly larger, but it's still smaller than the ones you would use for school. I'm gonna punch holes at the end of my notches, but only if space allows. I use both the large and the small hole punch to make the leaves. Once all the leaves have been cut, cover them with a layer of nail polish. This will make the color a lot richer and add a little gloss to the leaves. Go down the stem and do the back of the leaf as well. Place it on a binder clip and allow it to dry. Once dry, trim off the unpainted stem, glue them into the pot in the hole that we made, going around in a circle. We want all of the veins in the leaves to be facing each other. Allow the glue to dry. Once dried, gently bend the leaves out and down just a little bit. You don't wanna to wait too long to bend those leaves because once the nail polish cures, like overnight, then they can crack. If you don't wanna use nail polish, a good substitute is Mod Podge or a clear drying school glue. At this point, we could say that this plant is done, but if we wanna take it a step further, take square round tip toothpicks and paint them brown. Cut off the ends, cut four the same length, glue them going around the pot, paint a few more, cut them smaller, glue them underneath, making a cross on the bottom of the cap to make a plant stand, adding a little height to our plants. Showing a close-up of those leaves, now you can see how the nail polish really brings out those lines. Now let's make a taller plant. Take more green cardstock on the shorter side, fold it over, then starting at an angle, let's cut the stem, then go out and make a long, broad leaf. This one's gonna be a lot longer and then taper at the end. Here's my shape. It kind of reminds me of a knife but when you open it up, you can see the shape of the leaf. Now I'm using the end of my crochet needle. You really just need something that you can make an impression into the leaf with. Pushing down firmly, I make curved lines on the side of the leaf, going all the way down. There is an embossing tool that you can use to do this, or a dotting tool, or a pen that no longer has any ink. Then repeat on the other side, and I just discovered that this little screwdriver works really good. Use watered down paint to put a line down the middle. Once dried, cut a few lines in the leaves following the lines drawn. Don't need a lot, two to three will do. Apply a thin layer of nail polish, allow it to dry, make a few more. At the bottom, begin nesting them inside of one another. I used a little hot glue to hold them in place. After gluing together three, I began trimming them to vary the heights. We have a nice little pattern going on right there. Glue it into a paper pot. Bend the leaves just a little to make a bird of paradise plant. Our last plant doesn't need any nail polish. In my opinion, it is the easiest, but it's also the most tedious. Take plain white paper, cut it into about three inch strips. Fold the paper going back and forth, accordion style, all the way down. I'm gonna cut this in half, make it flat, cut a very thin leaf shape through all the layers. But you don't want to cut all the way through the other end. You wanna leave a little bit on the edge so they are all connected. Cut off the excess paper on the side. We have enough space here to cut one more leaf. So I'm just gonna cut a real thin leaf shape, kind of like a blade of grass. 
cut away the unneeded paper, and you're left with something that looks kind of like really long bunny ears. Make several. I've got two markers. One is slightly darker and the other is lighter. Run the dark marker along the edge of the paper. It's okay if you don't get every single one, it just adds to the variety. Unfold it, lay down a protective piece of paper, place the bunny ears on top, take the lighter marker, draw a line along the edge. Repeat on the other side, repeat for the rest of them. I try to be as neat as I can. The main thing that is important is to have that white stripe going down the center. After you finish one side, turn it over and repeat for the other. One down, many to go. That took a little bit of time. When I say a little, I mean a lot. But it wasn't so bad. This is a great craft to do while watching a movie. Now that we have all of our leaves, take the end of a chopstick or a wooden dowel, place it on the white part that's at the bottom of the leaves, and just roll it. Use a glue stick to secure the end and add another strip of paper and another and another and another. I'm gonna add one more just to be safe. Make a pot without the tissue, then glue the leaves inside. Use your finger to gently curl the leaves one at a time to make spider plants, giving us three different types of plants for our dioramas. The monstera, bird of paradise, and the spider plant. Cut four square wooden dowels to 10 inches. Take two and glue them together at the top. They are about four inches apart at the bottom. Repeat to make two. Take giant craft sticks, go up about an inch from the bottom, then measure the craft sticks an inch out on either side. Cut on the lines marked. Sand any rough edges, then glue it in place. Go up about three inches. Add another one, go up another three inches, add one more, glue on the other set of wooden dowels to make a plant stand to display our paper plant collection. Thank you for joining us while we made some paper plants and a plant stand. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!